sweet sweet souls welcome back i hope that you are good and you had a totally blessed week so we've done it on monday i am back to reading full time thank you so much for bearing with me over the last nine months through maternity helping me um on my journey with supporting with supporting me watching hunter grow all of the energy that you've thrown towards us all of the love that you sent our way um, and i want to give, give you a massive massive thank you for being a part of my journey from maiden to mother so thank you all so so much we've done it we've done it so monday is the day i am back i did it um, so if you want me, just drop me an email, mrlotaro at gmail.com. Email readings will be on a 24 to 48 hour return basis as of Monday. Video readings are going to be back to normal. Turnaround time on that is just going to take a couple of weeks to get settled and then it will be back to seven days. Um, I am taking bookings. The first week's fully booked. Uh, second week is still got a couple of spaces left so if you do want to book let me know just drop me again drop me an email at mrlovetarot at gmail.com so i'm having a bit of a sweat i think i'm over excited so what we're going to do today is 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 what are their feelings for you so i have two decks for you to pick from now this one was given to me the other day uh, it was gifted the impressionist tarot so if you like artwork and um, this is absolutely beautiful deck it's picked from the major artists um that are out there like van gogh etc etc and it, they've drawn their own impressions of the tarot using them as a basis really um so we're using that as deck number one and deck number two is the beautiful hush tarot which is all the beautiful animals very gentle gentle energy so what are their feelings about you let's go with my sweat okay deck number one and deck number two pick your deck um as always it will work on the strongest mutual energy between you all regardless of your circumstances and situations so if you just push your energy to the deck feel your person's emotions and push that to the deck as well really sensing that feeling sensing that emotions and we're going let's go okay deck number one so let's see what comes up i cannot wait to be back with you all really i've missed you all so so much what an epic journey though has it been fun okay think about your person for me we'll get into your person's thought feelings energy emotions and thought processes and all possibilities probabilities choices choices and changes of deck number one my guide is saying let's just do two more Ooh, that one doesn't work one and two yeah they were given to me my my lady who does uh, my acupuncture i have acupuncture um every so often and she was like i got you this deck and they're a uh, dear friend of mine absolutely beautiful deck love them okay let's go so those two jump together what are their feelings for you now what i like and i don't actually know where it's come from but sitting on my tarot deck at this moment in time just where i'm about to place this card is a little seed. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Oh, I just dropped it. It's a little seed. So where the energy has been with you guys, you might have felt like it has been quite stagnant around you, but with the messages flying in kind of from goddess over here, working with the goddess energy as we see the seed, this is prosperity um, and chance for growth, okay? So there is a lot of growth coming up within deck number one without even looking at your cards, just simply through the communication of the higher dimensions through to you. The growth is upon these cards. So your person sees that this connection can have a lot of growth with you guys. That's pretty neat, isn't it? I like that. Three, I'm only gonna pull five. Four, five. Okay, so we've got a, quite a few major arcanas coming up. We've got the world and we also have judgment coming through. For those of you that like to read tarot, we've got the queen of cups, we've got the six of cups, we have the seven of pentacles and we have the fool. So out of six cards, you've got three of them are major arcana. So what this is saying is that this person, your person that you are thinking of, has got these major, major emotions for you. Major things going on there. Like major arcana, major things, okay? They have got this sense of I really like you I want to see what happens let's go with it so where they've been 
And the Six of Cups, in, in, in the past, there's probably been quite a heavy energy around them. You might have found that they've been a little bit non-committal towards you, not giving you much of what you want. Um, but the energy is switching and changing between you guys, and you are going through this transition period. So where it has been a little bit stagnant, not much has been going on, that energy is now switching and changing, and you have movement forward. And that can be really, really seen by these major arcana energy. So what they're doing, going with the flow of the situation at the moment, perhaps being a little bit non-committal to you waiting to see what happens with you guys um, but really going with the flow of it with the hope of new beginnings there is a resurrection of the connection between you both so if it has been a bit stagnant a little bit stuck on things that have happened in the past that nothing much has really been going on you guys are reconnecting and bonding and this is to be said as well if you guys aren't in communication here we go hot flush if you guys aren't in communication there was a resurrection of that as well. So new beginnings, a resurrection, and a putting things from the past to bed and getting ready to focus on a new chapter between you both. So lots of endings and lots of new beginnings. Your person has got emotions for you, very strong feelings of the Queen of Cups over here. And again, with the Six of Cups, talking about memories from the past, also prospects of having children, of family, um, coming up for your person over here. So they can see that this can work out with you guys. With the Seven of Pentacles over here, this is saying that um, that perhaps it's taken a little bit of work for them to get to where they are at the moment. But again, it's moving forward. There is this very strong shift and change in the dynamic between the two of you. So when we're looking at your person's feelings and their emotions for you, yes, they are going with the flow of it. And that's why perhaps they might seem that they're a little bit blase, a little bit non-committal, a little bit, I'm not giving you what you want at this moment in time. But what is underneath that all is that they can see really great potential between you both. They can see... Um, that this relationship can really shift and change into your favour and be with them. Um, they do really like you. They do really fancy you. They do have um, emotions for you. They are a little bit buried. Um, your person's not very good. This is a sweeping statement as the collective reading. But your person's not very good at communicating how they're feeling. They are likely to show you more of actions rather than words how they feel about you. Okay, so just be aware of that. Um, so they'll show you rather than perhaps tell you. And if you're asking them time and time again, how are you feeling? What do you think? Shall we do this? Shall we do that? And, and perhaps potentially putting pressure on them. Just take a step back from that and let them show you with their actions, not their words, how they feel. Those of you that aren't in communication, again, it's kind of the same energy. Let them get on with it and they will come bouncing back to you, resurrecting the connection and coming towards you with new beginnings. Timings of this, um, well, your collective timing, Spirit are giving me a number two. So as your collective energy, it could be two weeks, two months two days the second of a month <laughs> bit of a open sweeping thing for you all there but that is what they are saying so they're working it through they're combing out any tangles of this connection and quite like that with the hair over there combing through any knots any tangles that have been making this relationship feel a seem a bit stagnant they're working through that combing through that energy and coming towards you with new beginnings with expressions of love spirit are saying as well with expressions of love talking about where they want this future to go talking about where perhaps it has been on the past and where these knots might have been they will be communicating through getting rid of these knots to be resurrecting your connection in a coming together of a new beginning so what are they feeling about you right now? I mean, that's what they want. What are they feeling about you? A love, a let's go with the flow. Let's see what happens. Um, do really like you. Do want to see what goes on with us and see where this heads. There is potential here for them to fall seriously in love with you. Um, but go at their speed. If you go at their speed, you've got a great dynamic to work through. Looking really, really good, deck number one. I like that. Resurrections and coming together fabulous how cool is that all right guys that's step number one so if you need me just drop me a message mr love tarot at gmail.com as always thank you for all your support over the last nine months of my maternity leave uh, we did it we did it uh subscribe if you haven't subscribed i'm going to do a competition next week uh to win a reading with me and then week after uh to win a tarot deck i always look i've got so many decks um i have to figure out that's just some of them. Um, I have two cabinets. I have one full of Dax and one full of magic. Um, <laughs> I have to work out which deck one of you guys would like to win. 
So if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do. Um, and yeah, we're rocking and rolling. I'm hoping to do a live feed with you on Sunday where I'll do an individual uh, pull a card, but just keep that up in the air at the moment because I've got to go to Manchester on Friday um, to the consulate for, for Portuguese citizenship for, my, for the baby. So um, just bear it in mind at the moment, I'm planning on doing it Sunday, might not happen, but hopefully it will. So do just stay up to date on that uh, so you don't miss it. And we'll do individual cards for you all. See what's going on for the week. Okay. Love you. Ciao. Right. Let's get going. Deck number two. 1010. What a great time to start. Cyclings of endings and new beginnings. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, I am off maternity leave as of Monday. So if you need me, drop me a message, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com or DM. DM me on Instagram or Facebook. If you're not following us on Instagram, uh, you can just send follow requests. I shut, I, I put it to private because um, because of the scammers out there. Someone scammed us, didn't they? And they uh, was trying to send you all messages saying, dear beloveds. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> in fact, luckily, you all messaged me and said, Ali, there's, there's someone being a bit dodgy over here. Is it you? And I was like, that is definitely not me. Um, but do send follow requests on Instagram. Um, Facebook, you can just follow. Okay, let's see. What is your person feeling about you? One. Ooh. The Empress. Don't you love the Empress? Four. Okay. Three of Swords. The Empress. Got a little bit of heartache. Eight of Cups. Quite a bit of heartache. King of Wands. Okay. Two of Wands. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So a bit of a heavier energy with deck number two. Right, what is your person feeling about you? Let's start off with the three of swords, okay? There is heartbreak over the situation. There is pain here uh, for both of you. You guys are probably feeling a very heavy energy with regard to your person. Um, your person is feeling it too. And spirit just showed me a very clear mirror, okay? So the mirror image of you guys reflecting upon one another. Um, so whatever you're feeling, the, these heavy, sad emotions, your person is also feeling that you are in the mirror energy likely to be twin flames or a higher vibrational soulmate connection between you both so what they're feeling about you at the moment is a very very sad energy very heavy energy so it could be they're missing you that um they're feeling that they've lost you perhaps that they can't give you what you want at the moment whatever your individual circumstances your person has a sad energy over it all now they can with the empress over here they do see you in this this very nurturing light this very maternal light again the divine counterpart for those of the more spiritual dynamics between the both of you they do see that um with the crow kind of over your head this is talking about the magic and mystery between you both it's a very very spiritual connection and your person can sense that they've never felt this way about anyone and potentially this is where this heavy heartbreak is coming in it could be that they might be thinking at the moment that you are the right person but it might not just be the right time between you both okay so right person wrong time that is potentially what your person is feeling again as your collective energy now what they can see with this is that they can see there is a way of it working out um, and the reason why i'm saying that is because of the bees the bees put in the hard work and they bring out the honey they look after the mother bee the maternal energy the empress of the beehive they do all the work put all the work in and it can work out between you both um but it isn't a quick fix this is something that's potentially circumstantial as well and it, that, that happens a lot with a more twin flame dynamic and um, it could be that they're married it could be cultural differences family history anything along those lines um that that is creating this kind of sad dynamic between the two of you now as i was tuning into that energy spirit said to me the word ancestors so it could be that there's some kind of ancestral energy between you both that is pulling you i get really distracted by this big beautiful window it looks out onto the peak district and you see all the the birds of prey flying and um, just as the messages come through so a falcon just kind of come down um and it was, you know, what, what falcon symbolises that sense of freedom, okay? So we've got nature talking to you as well. Um, it is the sense of ancestral, perhaps, wounds that need that sense of freedom to come forward as well. So a bit of karmic energy between you two. Even though it's a more spiritual dynamic, sometimes we have karma and sometimes due to ancestors. 
um, <laughs> they can create this karmic energy. And I think that just from a personal notice, that, that's quite important in, in my relationship because I have Celtic ancestry and my partner has Roman ancestry. And it really has been a joining together of our connection and clearing those ancestral wounds and, and karmic energy before um, the, the two energies, the two, the two ancestors merged together right off the bat just to just to throw that in there so yeah between you both sadness heaviness ancestral issues um but there is a close dynamic that can be worked through you are in a more dynamic relationship where you're likely to do the twin flame helix where you pull in and out of each other's lives um but the the, the reason why there is so much heartache is because there is so much love you know and that's it's kind of like a catch 22 isn't it when you go through that much pain you go through that much heartache it's because there's so much love there and there is this sense of unconditional love coming between you both so with the eight of cups over here the situation might have just gone a little bit peak tongue at the moment if you're not in contact do know that they are thinking of you do know that they do miss you do know that they do love you okay um even if you are in contact same energy miss you want to speak to you love you um but a lot of hurt kind of going on over here as well. So where it is, what's happening, you've got the two of ones, king of ones, your person might be acting a little bit more in a sexual energy um, rather than an emotional energy between you guys. If that is the case and that is happening um, and they're not really giving you much basis, do know that they love you. It's just that sometimes talking more about sexual energy is easier for them than talking about emotional energy. Um, just way masculine energy where it's remember never sexually orientated or gender specific but spirit are talking about your person being in a masculine energy okay so you've got this king of wands energy they're thinking it all through um very sexual chemistry between you guys as well there is a very sexual energy between you both um but it's just kind of like a bit of a mix match at the moment because there is this heavy amount of pain so they're acting or, or they're thinking of a lot of they've got sorry they've got a lot of hair going on over the situation and perhaps trying to brush it off or act a little bit blasé or not giving you what you want and um, because of the pain that they are going through and taking a step back from the situation with the empress this does show the maternal energy that they do really like you really do have this very strong feelings for you and um, can see that the future could be bright between the, the two of you um they also actually see your vulnerabilities, which is really beautiful. They see your vulnerabilities and they see that you need love as well. And they understand that and that could be hurting them as well if they can't give you that at this moment in time. So what does your person feel about you? A deep sense of love that comes with a lot of heartache and pain. Where is it going? Let's just throw in, let's just throw in three more for you. Where is this connection ship going? Connection ship? Like that. Where is this relationship going to go? That spirit, you know, when they, because I'm Claire audience, I hear them as if me and you are talking. Um, and sometimes the words get really twisted as I say it. Yeah, so you've got the Ace of Pentacles, you've got the Seven of Swords, and you've got the Page of Wands. So they are going to be communicating with you if you guys are not in contact. Be aware of what they do say to you. I did say this in deck number one, but pay attention to their actions, not their words, uh, with the Seven of Swords over here, because they might say to you, let's give it a go, um, but the proof will be in the pudding. So just bear that in mind as well. Um, again, circumstances could be why that is potentially happening. You have got communication coming forward. It might be a little bit more sexual, as I said before, um, but the focus is on love. They're very, they're very, a skew whiff they're very skew whiff over it all they're not really sure um how to handle it because they do have that love for you they do have those feelings for you um and so they don't know where to to take this really um communication will come in if you're not in contact even if you are in contact communication will come in beware of actions not words um and do let them have the chance to bring up open communication and talk to you about their feelings um, and if they mask it with sexual energy don't overly panic because it will come around again and with that we've got uh was it cindy lauper coming around again just to finish it off the situation will keep coming round and round and round good old twin flames dynamics 
All right, guys, so if you need me, drop me a message, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram or Facebook. Thank you so much for all your love and support over the last nine months. Um, it's been incredible. I couldn't have done it without you all. Um, hoping to do a live feed on Sunday that I did just say, I don't know if I said at end of debt one or debt two, um, that that might not actually work out but i'm planning on doing it so just stay up to date stay tuned subscribe if you haven't go do individual cards and um, if i don't do it sunday i will do it next week i will do a live feed for you all um i love you all to pieces you're all superstars you're all my rock stars and i will speak to you soon ciao ballers